Hello, everyone. Today we are in the second half of uh, the first chapter of Paul's letter to the Ephesians. We're beginning at verse 15. In the first half, we kind of got a grip of, of uh, Paul celebrating the incredible spiritual blessings that God pours out on all people. But now as we move into this section, we focus in very specifically on the people of Ephesus. Right off the bat, Paul says this at verse 15. Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly. There are a couple of things I want to point out in this kind of this opening clause. Paul points out that it's great that they love God and he is excited about that, but there's more to it. He also is excited about the fact that they love God's people. You see, it's not just enough to, to go hide in a corner and love God and read your Bible and pray constantly, but it is to recognize that the people in the world around you are God's gift to you and, in fact, ways for you to express God's love. And so when you go out and realize that we don't just love God, but we love all of God's creation, it means that we've kind of latched in deeper into our faith. And that's part of the call that we share and the, the imperative of our mission to share the love of God with others as we commit to that and realize that it's not just love God, but it's love neighbor. And the two things are really, in truth, one thing that we start to grow. And it is that growth that Paul is continuing to pray for. He gives thanks for them, um, and then he's also praying constantly for them. But for what reason? At verse 18, we get a hint of that. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. We are those holy people, but as we grow closer to God and we become more aware of how we can share God's love with others, then we also become more aware of how awesome God is. And the more aware we become of how awesome God is, the more aware we are of how much we don't know about God. That's the thing about this journey of faith. There is no finish line that we cross and say, oh, I'm a Christian now, it's all good, and it's just maintenance. No, we are called to constantly, constantly grow in our faith. He continues at verse 19. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe in Him. The, this is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Paul's point is that as we continue to grow in our knowledge of God, we will continue to tap in more deeply to the power of God. And this power is meant for one purpose, to share with others, to share love, to restore people, to transform hearts. We here at Light of the Desert, are on a journey. A journey of faith where we continue to grow. And as we continue to grow, our influence, our ability to share and touch the lives of others also expands. And that expansion is without ceasing because there's no limit to God's powers. So my invitation for you today is as you read these passages, that you would pray into how God is calling you to continue to grow you to continue to reach out and share God's love. Where is God calling you to action today? Have a great day, everyone. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.